parable of the prodigal son is perhaps one of the most well-known parables mentioned in the scripture. Not only does it paint a picture of God's love for us, but it also demonstrates how we should love our brothers and sisters in Christ. This is the parable that Jesus told. There once was a father that had two sons. One day the younger son said to his father, Father, could you give me my inheritance? So the father thought about it and decided his sons could have the money now, and he split it evenly between them. Very soon after the son received the money, he decided that since he had so much money, he could move to a different country and have some fun with it. When he left, he left for good. He took every last thing he had and did not plan on returning. He wanted to grow up and spend all his money he had how he wanted with no one telling him what to do. So he just left. He left a big farm with many hired men and with everything he needed. He left his family, and most importantly, he left his father, who trusted him enough to give him the money. This disappointed the father greatly. While the son was gone, he spent all the money he had right away. He didn't think to save any of it. He ate out every meal every day. He bought fancy cars, threw wild parties, and he spent the money on many other things that God would not be happy with. After he had spent all the money, the country he was living in became very poor. They hardly had any food for anyone. It was even worse for the people who had no money because food had become even more expensive. So it was hard for poor people to get any food. The son was in trouble. He had no money, no place to live. He had nothing to eat, so he had to get a job. The only job he could find was feeding pigs. He was so hungry, he tried to eat the food that the pigs were eating. But his boss caught him and told him that if he ever did that again, he would lose his job. That night, as the sun was walking, that night, as the sun was walking, his stomach was could not stop growling. He was so hungry. He saw some people walking towards him and asked him if they could give him any, mo any money for food. But no one would give him anything. Everyone was so poor, it was hard to share with anyone. The son went to bed hungry, and when he woke up, he realized something. When he lived with his father, even the hired men had more food than they needed. And now he was starving to death. At the moment, he had a plan. He would go back to his father's house and say to him, I have sinned against God and against you. I do not deserve to be called your son, so hire me and I will work for you. He knew that if he had become a hired man on his father's farm, he would still be better off than he is right now. He would always have a warm place to stay and food to eat, so he was headed for home. It took the son a long time to get home. He was hoping that his dad would let him work at the farm and let him be a hired man. The son was walking up to the farm, but while he was still a long way off, he could see someone noticing him and started running towards him. He was sure that they must be expecting someone else, because no one would be excited to see him. As the person got closer, he realized it was his father, saying, My son, my son, you are finally home. He could not believe it. His father threw his arms around him and kissed him. And the son quickly said, Father, I have sinned against God and against you. I do not, to be, I do not deserve to be called your son. The son wanted to continue, but the father said to one of his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Bring the biggest calf and kill it. Kill it. Let's have a party and celebrate because my son was lost and now found. A little while later, the older son working in the field heard music and dancing. So he called one of his servants and asked what was going on. Your brother has come home and your father has a party for his return. This upset the older brother and he refused to go to join the party. The father heard that he was upset, so he went to talk to him and invited him to join the party. But the son refused, saying, look. I have been working for you all these years, and I have never disobeyed you. Yet you never had a big party for me to celebrate with my friends. And now my younger brother has come home and spent all the money you gave him, and you killed the biggest calf for him. But my son, the father said, you are always with me, and everything I have is yours. We had to celebrate and be glad, because this brother of yours was lost, and now he is found. In this parable, the father in the story is just like God. This is how God would be if we ran away from him, and we started doing things that we shouldn't. He doesn't give up on us when we do things that are wrong. He will always forgive us if we have truly changed and repent for what we have done. Now the older brother in this story just shows how most of us would act if, some, if this happened to us. I think we would all be upset if our younger brother or sister ran away for a long time and did a whole bunch of bad things and they came home and your parents threw a big party for them. The father who had been wrong was forgiving and the eldest son who had not been wrong was unforgiving. In this parable, Jesus gives a clear picture of God and what God is like. God is truly kinder than us. The story of the prodigal son is a picture of God's love for us as children. God's love for us does not depend on our faithfulness. It is unconditional. He loved us while we were still sinners. Though we are demanding and do not remain faithful, God is still our faithful and loving God. When we come to repent of our sins, he is willing to forgive us and welcome us with open arms. It says on Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3, I have loved you with everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you.